Hi, back to the welcome back to the shop. This is my September Maker Geeks box review from Maker Geeks. I have a love hate relationship with Maker Geeks lately. See all this filament? That's all theirs that I've ordered over the last few months. Some of it's the Geek box, some of it's my pocket buying it also out of pocket other than the Geek box and shoes and stuff. And some of it's good, some of it I'm having problems with. Like for instance, this silver down here. Clogs up my extruder like there ain't no tomorrow because it's out of spec. I've tried to get them to replace it. I keep getting pushed to the side. This blue up here does the same thing. Still nothing on it, out of them. But like this red down here, runs absolutely great. Yellow, great. The white, up here great the red great and this blue absolutely great the purple great so it's almost like a give and take sometimes it does sometimes it don't one of my other past reviews you'll see this yellow PTG you kind of seen the story on that one so far then we get to this month there's where the love and hate gets a little crazy for September, they decided to give everybody that has the Geek Box a $100 gift card, which is nice. And I ordered four spools on October the 2nd. I ordered four spools of filament, different types, and a order of the uh, 3D printing spray for the glass. And as you see by the date I'm recording this, this is what I've gotten. One spool one spray I got those two days after every single thing I ordered was in stock on their website I waited a week I emailed them I got your orders up it's 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 gonna be made in the next day or two you'll get an email with a tracking number well four or five days go by I emailed again and I got the same response. Your order's coming out on the next production run and it'll be shipped out. Well, wait a minute, all that stuff said it was in stock. Some of it still says it's in stock, but yet this is what I get. That's it. I'm still missing three spools. It's almost time for next month's Geek Box, which is already paid for. And I haven't even got all of this month's yet. I was going to do a nice review on every one of these filaments that come in. I had some good choices. I mean, this is a really nice see-through green PETG. But how can I realistically give you a good review when it's been almost two and a half weeks now and I'm still waiting on three quarters of the order now? Let alone the replacement for that one. And the replacement for that one. And two more spools I ordered. Um, this, this may be my last month doing this review for their Maker Geeks box. Unless they get their head out of their butt. Hate feeling frustrated like this. You know. But uh, I hope that they can fix their self because I really would love to support a United States maker of filament. And when their filament runs good, it runs really good. And I love the color selections. I mean, I've even got the clear that's really nice and I've got a carbon fiber that's really, really nice. I mean, I absolutely love it. But when it runs bad, it runs bad. And they are so slow about fixing things. I don't really know what to do. I really would love to support a USA Maker. And I love their selection, but if they can't ship anything, I don't know if I can keep ordering from them. I hope everybody else is actually getting a better treatment than I am, but right now I don't know what to think. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I can have some more reviews soon. I've got a, 
one maker that's a uh, rep wrapper that's actually really nice filament I've been messing with and it's only 11 to 12 dollars a roll on Amazon their color selection is kind of limited but it runs absolutely beautiful um, maybe I can do something with this real soon I was waiting on the other three before I did anything with it because there was some excellent colors and projects I wanted to do but I wanted to do them all at once but it's going to be three weeks now and I'm still missing the rest of it well, thanks for watching